Welcome back, everybody. So I was over here gathering some bamboo. And I notice I've got more Endermen. And look at this. This dirt was not here. This is Enderman dirt. They were going around picking up dirt or gravel or who knows what and piling it on my stuff. If you've been watching for a while around this city, you know these guys are a these guys are a problem. There's a seems to be an inordinate number of them running around the city here. Ah, and I didn't even gather the bamboo. Let's see, I think I just need a stack or so. I need to make some item frames. Well, that's not bad. I get, what, one, two, three, four, five stacks just from that one, uh, the one side. And then I have one extra. That can go in there. Bamboo is quite efficient. I mean, you make a tiny little farm like that. If you have it on a regular schedule to harvest it, you can actually uh, get quite a bit of sticks and bamboo, which you can burn for fuel. And you can uh, really uh, help. So today I want to put in a record shop right here. So I figure we got the area we need entertainment. So I think a music shop would be pretty good. So we're trying a different build palette. I had some end stone, so I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to do kind of a, it's going to be a, I guess a pale yellow oddly greenish aqua blue palette here. Boy, these, uh, yeah, the warped warp colors really go together. Let's see, I think, will this be big enough? So you come in the front door here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, good. I actually got it right. Two, three, four. So that would be the door right there. So you come through the door. Yeah, we got this big long room. I don't know if you remember the old. There used to be stores where you go in there and you buy albums. Or CDs, like CD World. Or even uh, cassettes and stuff. Some of you may not remember that because it's a, a thing of the past. Because I don't think they have record stores anymore, music stores. Because you just get it online at Spotify or Amazon or Apple or some kind of place like that. So you will never know the joy of... Uh, Blindly walking into one of those stores and just sort of carousing through the albums, flipping, flipping along, just looking at all the different covers, catching a you know an album cover or CD cover that caught your eye. Uh, they, some stores even let you uh, listen to them and sample it. This is all before the digital age. I guess CDs are, are digital. But they used to be, anyhow, I digress. They used to be a lot of them were these uh, long, long stores, I call them. Kind of shotgun style here. So you go in, and there'd be long rows of like bins with the albums in them or the CDs in them. And then way at the back, you'd have the cashier. And then you'd have the specialty albums on the wall, you know, the first printings and that kind of stuff. The old vinyls, you know, you used to be old used vinyls in uh, a couple bins you can get to. 
Ah, oh, the good old days. I think we lose. We've lost something with uh, this new, fast, digital streaming age that we have. And it's not just the music. I mean, now you just go to Spotify or, you know, I have a satellite radio, which actually I like. But it is spendy. I've got a, I don't know why. I got some kind of deal on it years ago. So it's not, not horrible, but it is a, I think it's, I'm, you know, for me it's worth it because I listen to it. I get baseball games and all that kind of stuff on it. But now most people get things for free, Spotify and stuff. But with all the streaming and digital, even with like TVs and movies and all that, you don't really, you don't go to like Blockbuster. Blockbuster was a store. I'm talking like a, I'm talking like I'm an ancient person. I'm not that old. Um, the Blockbuster was a store where they sold or rented uh, videos. And these are actually not all in, you know, not DVDs. They'd rent uh, VHS tapes. Big old tapes you had to put in a tape player. And you always had to rewind before you brought it back. Be kind, rewind. Because it didn't automatically re rewind. You'd have to rewind your uh, VHS tapes before you brought them back or they'd uh, charge you a fee. Which is kind of something, you know, you don't have to do anymore. But with this uh, digital age, you kind of miss, uh, like going into a blockbuster, you didn't have a clue of what you wanted. It's like, I just, I want to go rent a movie. So you would go down to the store because you couldn't get them online. You only got like, you know, five channels on TV and they all were, they didn't show anything worthwhile. So you'd go out there and uh, you'd go to the Blockbuster and you'd go rent the, rent the movie. Or actually just browse through the aisle and just pick out a movie you wanted Nothing you'd ever heard of before. Nothing you ever would have normally got. A lot of B movies and that kind of stuff, but it was kind of nice. You could get, you could just go through and watch movies that you'd never heard of and you would never normally uh, pick out, just because you just saw the cover and you said, "Oh, that's cool. I think I'll watch that." Or it was one of the managers' picks because usually they had like managers' picks at the front front of the store, so or where the counter checkout counter was and they'd have these uh, managers picks or employee picks that a little section where you go through and different employees would recommend different movies and a lot of them you you know, you go and watch because you like never heard of it and some of them you like some of them you wouldn't but it was kind of a different experience now you go online to amazon and if you don't know what you want it's hard to find anything just go to like you know prime if you have a Prime subscription, go to Prime Video. Go, uh, like, just start browsing through it. And it's hard to find anything unique or nice. I mean, it's just, you got pages and pages. And it's like a pain in the ass just to try and find anything to watch sometimes. Or even if you know what you're looking for, trying to search for it is a pain in the butt. So, you just don't have that, uh... You know, I guess you lose that experience of the discoveries. Like you never, you just, you're bored. You don't know what you're looking for, but you know, there's something out there. So you just, you just go to the store and just sort of kind of wander through the aisles. I mean, you can still kind of get that. If you go to the bookstore, it's the same thing like a bookstore. It's like you go to the bookstore, you don't know what kind of book you want to get. So you, uh, so you just kind of wander into Barnes and Noble and just sort of wander through the aisles and you end up uh, buying a few books just to try them out. Basically, mainly based on what's on the cover of the book. So you don't have to, you know, you're not really uh, basing on anything else. And it's, it's kind of a different experience. The people just uh, are never going to have that experience anymore. It's kind of weird to think of that. Some of us are, are older than yesterday. 
I mean, not ancient, but old enough to remember some of it because it wasn't that long ago. You still had those kind of things. Although I think there is still a blockbuster in Oregon somewhere, if I remember right. One lone blown blockbuster. Kind of like the one on South Park. I think Randy Marsh. Uh, Randy Marsh bought that blockbuster for the Halloween special or something. I remember. He was trying to rent a blockbuster, but no one would even show up. So, but I am uh, just rambling on. Uh, this is my record store here. I went with the different blocks. I think actually that doesn't look too bad. Now I just need to figure out what kind of uh, what kind of roof to put on it. Okay, enough uh, old man rambling on from the porch. Let's get a roof on this thing. I think I'm just going to do like basic pyramid roof here. Which just means I'm just going to just go in level by level until we get to the middle. And that'll be it. I need to put a skylight in there. Oh, I'm out of. But it's going to take more blocks than I thought. I didn't think it was going to take that many. Ah. Well, I had to get down anyhow. To right there. Oh. I'm one short. Okay. So we got our skylight in. Let's see. I'm going to put. Well, let's start in the back. So I have my counters here. So this will be the counter where the, where the clerk is. And I also thought. So I, they do this sometimes. Let's uh, do that. Maybe if I put in like there, like a listening lounge, put a jukebox in so you can sit here and listen to sample message, uh, music and stuff. I also have some lights for here. Let's. Uh, like here in these corners I'm going to put these uh, redstone lamps because I think it uh, the look of them goes with the rest of the uh, the store I think and like I said there'll be like there'll be a uh, oops can I do that there we go there'll be a uh, a counter or a display that runs down the length like this. There we go. And then I need one on the other end. So like here. There. Good. I have a whole bunch of records. And let's put the gonna put another jukebox here and one here. And we'll just put the albums on display. So this will be like the record bins where you, you cruise through them. And I've got quite a few music discs. I even got this one. Is, uh, this Samuel one is... Uh, it comes from the ancient cities. You find all the fragments. You put them all together and you get that album. And I don't think I've actually... Uh, Never listened to it before. Mm -hmm. 
That's kind of scary. Let's see. That's looking pretty good. Um, I wish I had more room over here. Maybe if I shrink this down. So if I shrink this down, so it's just a tiny little, tiny little uh, corner. Then I can put, put this here. So let's put redstone there, a lamp, and then we got the two beds, which are actually couches. So we got the two couches here. And then the jukebox can actually go there. I'll put another jukebox here and then one back there because I figured they're going to need a, a there like that. There we go. That's looking like a record store. Ooh, oh, that's kind of weird. Uh, do, 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 do I have a block? There we go. Planks. What the heck? Who? No, no, it's the... there. No, I don't want it to go. I don't want it to go. All... There we go. It was nice that they added new paintings. I still wish we had a dial a painting. You know, system where you put the painting up and then you can actually pick uh, pick the painting you want. Because that would be kind of cool. Of course, it would also be nice if you could just add your own. That they're dynamic, so it's based on like a folder. So you had a folder in your Minecraft, uh, your Minecraft folder that... Let's get that that uh, just held all the paintings, and as you picked a painting, it randomly pulled it from the folder. There we go. And those are kind of like posters. If you remember, maybe you don't. If you remember the old the record stores, usually there were posters everywhere, and most of them were uh, posters of the uh, album covers or advertisements for music and that kind of stuff but they were they were covered with advertising okay i think i think that's done so a very quick build more me uh, rambling on and on like some old uh, codger sitting on his porch but uh we're all done with that so that is it Ooh, I zoom in that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you uh, have a great day, and I will uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.